how to use average order value in practice. Let's hop into it. Here at the top of our screen, we have four metrics. We have the average order value, that's what we're here to talk about, the revenue, the number of transactions, and then the modal order value as well. Uh, so here we have that average, which is the average order value is a function of total revenue divided by the number of transactions. And that gives you the average value per order. Uh, here we then have how we are trending versus the previous period and the previous year. So in the, again, the previous period, we are down currently $8 and the previous year we are down $23. Uh, but overall revenue transactions and everything else is up. So once we have our value of dividing revenue by transactions, we then have to break that down by something. And here we have that by month. So September, October, November, December, January, you can look at those here and how that compares to the previous year. So here you'll see that the average order value has decreased from the previous year. Now, one thing that uh, people don't often look at is how you can group order values together. So we might looking at our $58 order value and be like, wow, that is remarkably low. Well, in actuality, the number of the average order value or the modal order value is $19. I mean, this company sells a $19 product at a much higher volume. Uh, on average, there are bigger uh, transactions of 150 to 300 dollars bring that average up so we are sitting at 58 dollars when there are very barely any 60 dollar orders here so once we take that average order value we then look at where it's coming from so scrolling down here you will see we have the source the medium and the landing page i'll just use those three as a starting point so um, as we look at these source and mediums, what you'll see is how the average order value can change dramatically uh, per source and medium. Medium is going to be the most universal. So we have paid ads is going to be CPC. We then have uh, email, organic are going to be the three main ones for the majority of, uh, of companies. If we look at CPC and we click on that, what you'll notice is the entire uh, chart the entire report now breaks everything down by CPC. An interesting story is that the CPC average is much, much higher than the average order value. That's because like this business that is anonymous data, we know that they bring in a lot of their traffic to starter bundles that are $19, the modal order value. So a lot of their initial orders are $19, whereas paid ads, they send them to a bundle page that is for a more premium, pro uh, I think it's $169 uh, again here in this uh, 159 to 299 range. So you can see here how paid ads are doing for them there. Whereas the volume, right, for the organic side of things, 50,000 orders during this period where that average order value has significantly decreased here. And you can see they're picking things back up. Q, end of Q4 here was running in that high volume to run into that end of year sale and then bringing things back up into January. So as you're looking at average order value, how is that a function of the volume that you're trying to achieve and the total revenue that you're trying to hit? Uh, those two are going to be very interstitial. Then we have landing page. This is where things get even more interesting because you have the average order value uh, tied to the, again, set, uh, revenue and transactions, um, which is $120 for the homepage. Again, the offer that people are going to is going to be very, very important. So if we look at emails, uh, where is email sending traffic? You can see that here. And then what is the average order value and how is that relating back to email? Same thing for CPC, which traffic sources are we running traffic to? Uh, same thing for paid ad, paid social. Um, hey, paid social, we're running a lower volume to a lower offer. What is that landing page looking like? Uh, so here you can kind of really dive into all of these different functions of paid ads. And now you have a utility to go back to your media team, back to your email team and say, okay, we know that our, our we're running a bundle here that's, that's gone away, but our paid ads, we're still running to these, these, uh, higher ticket bundles. Is that the plan that we're trying to achieve? And if we go to our paid ads team, we know that our average order value 
is going to be around $150, 153. And it has been increasing, right? We're up $8 from the previous period and up $54 to the previous year. So we are doing a pretty dang good job. Uh, once we then have these kind of relations that we've already spoken about, now we can look at how transaction and AOV are trending together over time. And this is where, uh, as you start to look at this from a financial perspective, are we trying to do a larger volume like we did uh, in uh, Black Friday type of thing here at huge volumes, lower average order value, or are we trying to go for a different relation here? And so you can add in revenue, get rid of AOV, add in transactions. How is revenue a function of that? And you can see that everything correlates fairly um, straightforwardly, right? So you'll see this relation here between average order value, transactions and revenue, and how those relate is going to be how you can act upon your data. So once you have AOV, break it down by something that you can then utilize to act upon, right? So that's the biggest thing here is as you look, take actions, you then have your modal size, you have your order size by volume into categories. And then lastly, you have that broken down by time and your source medium so you know are we headed in the right direction is our cpc traffic what we're doing hey it's been increasing the previous year we were not doing as hot now we're doing better for our paid media what about email how is that going and then we have organic in here bringing in our low average order values so again one example uh one use case how we're using average order value to act in your marketing strategy so that's it folks